Hello everybody. Good morning. I'm Vinod Dinakapat, Senior Vice President and Chief Technology Officer for Sam's Club. It's nostalgic for me to be back in Bangalore. I have many cherished memories of being here, early part of my career, and uh, it's just great to be out here today. It's late spring and early summer here, and always spring is the season of hope, optimism, and growth. And that's exactly what's happening in Walmart today. We are driving the disruption in retail, in omnichannel retail, led by technology and the people behind it. And how are we doing this? Let's find out. Joining me today is Tim Simmons, our Chief Product Officer and Senior Vice President at Sam's Club. Good morning, Vinod. Good morning, Tim. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. I believe you've already had your morning chai. I did. I had my first cup of masala chai and I wouldn't mind having one more. <laughs> That's the best masala tea that you can have is here in India. I see you really <laughs> like that. Absolutely. I do. Thank you. So, Tim, this is your first time to India as well as your first time to uh, our Walmart offices. What are your first thoughts? You know, I've been just overwhelmed with the um, hospitality and the generosity that I felt here in India. You know, my business career has taken me all over the world, but never to India. So I've been so excited to get here for the first time. You know, actually put a real live presence to a name and a face. It's been fantastic. And I've had the, the opportunity to go see the fantastic palace, a temple that was built in the 13th century and learn a lot about the history and culture. It's just been fantastic. That's great, Tim. I think, you know, I, every time I come here, I get goosebumps, right? So when you go visit those temples, which are a thousand years old, 2000 years old, and then you fast forward to the modern edifices of where we have our office here in a gleaming 10 story building, multiple buildings and the people inside those buildings. And I get excited every time I'm here. And then even better when you talk to the people, the associates in Walmart and Sam's Club. Wow, we've got We've created something really fantastic here. I agree. I've just been, I, I said this at a town hall the other day with, I've been amazed at how well they know our business. I've been amazed at the passion that they show for learning, you know, the Sam's Club and the Walmart business. They don't have stores they can visit here, but somehow they've learned about the business, what it's like, and they're creating amazing technology and experiences. And you can also see how excited they are about it. It's been really impressive. I couldn't agree more. On that note, Tim, let's head out and meet some of our associates in the office. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, Tim, we have expanded uh, the, the technology uh, workforce footprint um, across multiple locations all around the globe. Two very recent locations that we added uh, were in Toronto in Canada and Atlanta in Georgia. Additionally, I think it's about a little over a year now, we have a center in Chennai, uh, which is on the east coast of India. So what's, what's fantastic about this is the seamlessness with which the, our teams work across this distributed geographical location. You know, and the values of Walmart are consistent across each of these locations. Yeah, I, I agree, Vinod. I think seamless is a really good word for it. You know, we're everything that we do at Sam's Club is being a, is about being member obsessed. And I thought we'd come here and that you and I would maybe spend a lot of time talking about our flywheel and talking about being member obsessed. But the reality is that the associates here get that. It's seamless. It's they were showing us examples of really good, smart strategic engineering that was member obsessed. And so not only do they already get that vision and that strategy, they're showing us best in class work against it. So, and I think both that member obsessed view that is seamless uh, among all of these centers, but also just the engineering excellence itself. Um, you know, during the pandemic, when there was such a shift in our member behavior and digital and Omni became so important, it's these engineering teams and all of these centers that are just creating, you know, epic uh, talent and experiences that's really making our member experience fantastic. I would add to that, um, I, I think the way our teams work across as experienced teams, you know, between operations and product and UX and engineering is truly the magic, you know, the secret sauce, I would say, of uh, the, the great experiences that these teams have been able to bring to our members um, and to our associates, right? As I think about our workforce, I see the talent that we have had um, and the talent that we're hiring 
uh, across these locations. And without talent and people, we are nothing, right? It's, it's people-led, which is you know, core to the, the success of uh, Walmart. One example is the inventory scanner. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of my favorites, of mm -hmm. course, you knew I was gonna talk about yeah. the inventory yeah. scanner. Yeah. But you know, if you think about it, the member experience, the, the problem we're trying to solve there is for the member, it's where's my item? So the inventory scanner was a great example where a full experience team, the business, our operations partners, the product team really honing in on what problem are we really solving here? Because inventory is a very complex issue. And then our amazing engineering around IRAS, image recognition as a service, and then the UX and design team coming together for what is that experience in the club, right? What is the scanner going to see? What is it going to read? You and I have talked about this, and sometimes I don't know if a, an associate is in the product team or on an engineering team. Right. Right. <laughs> that's how blended and seamless they are, and, and that's a testimony to the the great work that teams do. And I think as Doug calls out, Sam's Club is the innovation engine for Walmart. So there's a bit of an added pressure for you and I, Tim, on and continuing to uh, keep the innovation engine going, and uh, we are at it. On that note, I think I can't way to go do some more deep dives and, and meet a few more of our associates and see what's in store for us today, Tim. Can't wait. Welcome, Vinod and Tim. It's wonderful having you people in Bangalore. You know, it's, it's, it's a trip that we've all been looking forward to and our teams are absolutely enjoying their time with you. So, let me start the questions with a question for you, Tim. As Chief Product Officer for Sam's Club, we would love to hear a little bit more about the thinking that goes in to improve our member experiences. What kind of research, kind of design thinking we, we build in as we conceptualize and launch new products and services. It starts at the beginning of the flywheel with being a member-obsessed culture. It means that in everything that we do, we want to put the member at the center and that we want to create fantastic experiences that delight our members. Um, as a membership model, the membership is everything. And so, and if you look all the way through the flywheel, every single point of the flywheel is important. But I also draw my attention to the top and the bottom. The bottom of the flywheel is around convenient access. And I could list numbers of products that we have that are focused on a delightful experience so that members can conveniently access in an omni way in their preferred channel. And so that mindset around how do we get that into our DNA as a culture, how does every time we solve a problem, we're solving it with the member at the center and thinking about the impact that we'll have there. To me, that's the key. To me, that's how we are pushing really hard to be product led, design thinking led, but also at the heart of it, member obsessed. Brilliant. Tim, I have not heard anyone else put member of this culture and flywheel so beautifully. So thank you for that. And um, pretty much what we strive to do within technology as well, put the member at the heart of everything we do in technology. So we know the next question to you as the tech leader, can you speak to some of the latest technologies that we are adopting within our world and um, what's next according to you? Core of our strategy for technology at Sam's Club is rooted in three things. One is how do we create products that will help drive revenue for us? How do we create products and platforms that will drive productivity for our business? And lastly, but most importantly, how do we future-proof our business? So un with that underlying theme, then we created um, a tech strategy around driving speed, driving innovation, and driving impact for our business. So in order for us to drive speed and, and, and innovation and, and impact, we have to find newer ways and newer technologies of solving our members' problem, or associates' problem. Um, and then to that end, I think, you know, the, besides all of the core traditional technologies, we have significantly invested and started building our platforms using AI and machine learning, um, AR and VR technologies. And while we're doing what we're doing with traditional technologies and some of the emerging ones, we are keeping an eye on, on, on what I would call as the, the ones that are there which will be relevant for us five years from now or 10 years from now. So it's everything in that continuum and spectrum, what I call is from the mundane to the magical. Mundane to the magical, it truly has been magical in the recent times, right? We have launched the virtual try-on for Optical, which has been such a super hit among our members. 
kind of speaks to the member of this culture where whatever we do, we put the member at the heart of that and make sure that the products speak to the members directly. And you know, speaking of the member of this culture to the broader culture, you've been around with uh, the Walmart group for a number of years now. And how have you seen the culture evolve in our organization? How do, how do, you, how do you describe how we've carried through Sam's ideology for Walmart and um, you know, your own personal take on that? Yeah, I really love the word evolve as it relates to our culture. I mean, we have we have four timeless values at the heart of our culture. And it was it was those things that attracted me initially to Sam's Club and Walmart. When they began to recruit me, I wasn't interested. But as I got to know the culture, I thought this is a place that I will actually enjoy. And what I think has evolved since something that was already very good has been all around um, agility in our culture. And what I mean by that is, despite the fact that we have, I think, a very collaborative culture, I've seen that enhance in the past even three to four years. You know, if you think about our experience team structure, where we have so many different disciplines all working together to solve the same problem, in what was already a collaborative culture, I've seen it become even more so. In fact, mm -hmm. dramatically so. Uh, with this, we come to a, the fun segment of our discussion today. Uh, to get to know the two of you better, we're going to have a rapid fire. So the thing here is to speak up the first things that come to your mind when I ask the question. So we know I'm going to start with you and then I'll alternate. What are the key attributes of technology leaders of today? Empathy. Empathy for the member, empathy for the associate. I love that. Um, I've always loved Jim Collins' level five leadership construct, and it's about humility, which I think is closely associated with empathy and indomitable will. In other words, just dogged determination to do the right thing and to win. A technology that touches everyday lives? Although it's, it's not perfect yet, I think AI is starting to touch everyday lives more and more and more. Yeah, there, there are many things, but I think the one thing that comes to my mind is what everybody does when they first wake up. It's a messaging technology. It's a social media, right? Whether it's our members, again, our associates, or even their own personal lives. I mean, can you imagine living a day without, you know, the messaging technology being there or social media not being there? I think that touches everybody in, 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 in their lives. Tim, your mantra for life. Don't quit. Despite whatever adversity comes your way, don't quit. Take your work seriously but not yourself. <laughs> if you could change your profession, what would you choose to be? Oh, I always wanted to be a professional sports person. You know, so I'm a, an accidental technologist. I'd be a musician. 20 years ago, I would have said sports person, but now I, I'd, I'd join a band and just play music all the time. If you were to write a book, what would that be about? It would be about some unexpected journey. I think my career, my whole career has been an unexpected journey. And whether it was mine or somebody else's, I love those kinds of stories. For me, it will be the worldview. Um, they're all so unique, but similar in so many ways. So I would write about the worldviews. Your favorite Sam Walton quote? Individuals do not win business, the team does. Mine is, there's only one boss, the member. He said customer, but I say member. With that, who's number one always? The member. The member? <laughs> the member always. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Oh, it's a wonderful chat. Thank you very much for your time. As we wrap up the technology on the move, we've got a very young workforce in uh, engineering and in product and every aspect of uh, the business that we run for our associates and the members. So what would your advice be for uh, the budding technologists, for the architects, for the product leaders? What's your word of advice? Be curious. Um, good or bad, I think in, in this space, technology changes every six months, not sooner. Mm. So just have a mentality of learning and be curious. And then that will lead you to, you know, better outcomes. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And I would also say just really focus on the value that every voice and every expertise brings to the table really broaden the gaze and focus on all the voices and all the specialty at the, at the table. Thank you all. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did bringing this to you. Thank you very much.